Let me guess one thing about you. You want to be rich. Correct, right? Now that wasn't a very difficult guess, because everyone wants to be rich. And yet, not everyone can be. Most of the world's wealth is concentrated in the hands of a very select, elite few. Why is that? Why can't you be among them? Well, we can't discount the very obvious possibility of being born into wealth. But is it really impossible to work your way up? Just how do these billionaires manage to stay at the top? We're here to uncover just how the rich get richer, and how you can join in the act too. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. There is one book you absolutely have to add to your reading list if you haven't already. The Millionaire Next Door, The Surprising Secrets of America's Wealthy by Thomas J. Stanley and William D. Danko. The best-selling book finds a number of common characteristics that recur frequently among people who have amassed fortunes. If mansions and yachts come to mind when you hear the phrase rich, you should reconsider that idea. The people that are millionaires are the ones that likely won't even look the part. People who don't appear wealthy are in fact the millionaires next door. They're the individuals behind you in the checkout line at the grocery store, or the ones filling up their modest car next to you. Setting goals is one of the secrets to wealth, according to Michael Kay, CEO of Financial Life Focus and author of The Feel Rich Project. The rich know what they care about, he said. Maybe it's passing wealth to another generation. Maybe it's attaining a particular lifestyle. They are mindful of not wasting resources on things that have no value. According to Kay, wealthy people typically only spend money on things they value. We can all benefit from this by making our own goals and checking to see if our spending is in line with them. Everyone wants an unending supply of money, so they can spend it however they like without restriction. At the very least, that's what you were taught. However, is that really the best approach to increasing your wealth? The secret to becoming and remaining wealthy has been discovered by smart, wealthy people, and it all has to do with how you handle your finances. Well then, just to make the concepts a little easier to digest, let's break them down for you. Here are five effective ways you can get not walking, but running on your path to some serious wealth. Number one, don't limit your mindset and believe in yourself. For the majority of us, cultivating an abundance mindset, the conviction that there are sufficient chances and resources for everyone, requires conscious work. This is especially true for those who had limited means and little access to riches growing up. A Purdue University study found that many of our financial behaviours are established by the age of seven. This means that how others talk about or act around money has a big impact on how we feel about it. You may be more inclined to think that wealth is only available to a select few if you grow up without money or the resources to make enough of it, believing that there is a shortage of resources, or seeing others around you live paycheck to paycheck. You're not completely wrong either. Numerous of the systems and mechanisms we employ to create wealth were created to prevent underprivileged people from fleeing the poverty that America had enslaved them to. If you belong to one of these communities, your thinking may naturally change as a result. When you don't see abundance all around you, it is harder to expect it. Number two, don't see money as a tool to impress people. According to Michael Kay, most wealthy people don't invest time and resources into trying to win over others. They're not competing in a race. They're not concerned with what other people think because they know they have succeeded. In fact, he said, many wealthy people would not have amassed their wealth if they had used their hard-earned cash to purchase items to keep up with others. In their 1996 bestseller, The Millionaire Next Door, The Surprising Secrets of America's Wealthy, authors Thomas Stanley and William Danko essentially said the same thing, stating that two of the country's wealthiest individuals' key secrets are living with their means and rejecting extravagant lifestyles. Spending money to appear wealthy before you are truly wealthy is a certain method to defeat your attempts to build wealth. Therefore, disregard the Johnsons and the Rogersons, and concentrate on what truly matters, building money over the upcoming decades. Number three, set goals, work, achieve. Wealthy people plan for and work toward their final objectives rather than just expecting to earn more money. They clearly see what they desire and take the required actions to achieve it. Most rich retirees started maxing out their 401k contributions in their 20s or 30s. 
Because the money you contribute to your 401k is pre-tax, it lowers the total amount of your earnings that are subject to federal income tax. Additionally, a lot of employers will match all or a portion of your 401k contributions up to a set percentage of your salary, often 6%. That is an extra benefit you should be capitalising on. The richest retirees spent 30 to 40 years working at the same job. A very high finishing salary, sizable pension benefits, and sizable 401k balances are just a few of the considerable perks of sticking with the same employer. There are still some people who are fortunate enough to have that job security despite how difficult it is to get permanent employment, particularly teachers, firefighters and other government employees. They are real life examples of the fact that having wealth does not need having a very influential or demanding job. Number 4. Convince yourself your income isn't enough. The idea that earning a high salary will eventually result in building more of a fortune is another mental spiral that is pretty easy and also dangerous to fall into. In all likelihood, the truth is that it won't be enough. Being deliberate with how you manage your budget is necessary for wealth creation, as is investing. The longer money is left unmoved, the more value it loses due to inflation, which is the gradual rise in the cost of goods and services. So, it's no surprise that investment is a necessary component of wealth generation, whether it be in the stock market, real estate, a business, or another wealth building avenue. A business manager by the name of Michelle Richberg told Harvest Business Review that the majority of her customers, many of whom are first generation multimillionaires, had to discover the hard way just how important it is to strike a balance of being strategic with spending and investing in order to accumulate wealth. Other experts propagate the same theory, that investment presents a chance to level the playing field. Most people who don't come from wealthy or financially savvy families have previously become victims of an inherently unfair game. And while it's still unfair, it's a lot better now than it used to be. Investment opportunities have suddenly become more accessible with the rise of internet investment brokerage services. Take advantage of investing, wisely and intelligently of course. It is now for everyone not just for the select few that could pick and choose as they wished. There is now a lot more to lose for them, and a lot more to gain for you. Number 5. Surround yourself with people who will challenge and advise you. Rich people surround themselves with savvy tax, legal and financial experts. Don't think you have to be wealthy to engage an advisor if you want to improve your chances of building wealth. In addition to that very useful fact, Making an early investment in a support system can assist you later on in getting the wealth you want. Rich folks frequently outsource their tax preparation and aren't typically investors who do the investing bit themselves. They aren't typically geniuses that can spot the magical stock that no one else can, nor can they see the future. They are simply aware of their areas of expertise, and if tax preparation and financial planning are not among them, they leave those tasks to specialised professionals. Building money is not a one-size-fits-all endeavour. Your consistency will matter regardless of the path you choose. Whatever your goals are and whatever path you take, you can benefit from re-evaluating how you feel about money to improve your chances of earning more. Although having money does not guarantee happiness, it does offer access to options and perhaps even a higher standard of living. Wealth is difficult to attain, yes. There are systems in place to ensure it's hard for you, yes. But there is now a growing belief that the opportunities in the modern world have opened up possibilities never thought of before. Take advantage. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Until next time, goodbye.